take for this lightweight fight is sponsored by Bud Light. Here we go. Barboza is 27, four years younger than Oliveira. Edson Barboza, three inches taller, and he will own the reach advantage to officially get things started. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas for UFC 162. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter holding a professional record, 15 wins, five losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Charleston, South Carolina, by way of Chunga, Brazil, Rafaela Tractor Oliveira. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a striker, holding a professional record, 11 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Edson Junior Barbosa. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Ah, uh, the veteran Herb Dean, our referee for this lightweight matchup. The beautiful Ariani, lovely Brittany. Our crew here for the holiday weekend. Set Ready for fight. Oliveira Ready. and Barboza. And here we go. Pafiello Oliveira in the black trunks. Blue trunks for Edson Barboza. He is a dynamic striker. Right away, a hard leg kick by Barboza. He will snap those off very quickly. Oliveira connects with the left there. Barboza for this fight, Joe, spent some time training in New Jersey with Henzo Gracie, Ricardo Almeida, Mark Henry, Frankie Edgar's team, basically. Said it really helped him broaden his game. Another hard leg kick by Barbosa. And again, oh, and those add up, man. He's one of the few fighters in the UFC that stop guys with leg kicks. Oh, hard one to the body. I mean, right in his UFC debut, Joe, back in 2010, he had some vicious leg kicks that ended up stopping the fight against Mike Lulo at 26 seconds of the third. Yeah, that was a leg kick exhibition. A nasty left to the body there by Barbosa as well. Takedown attempt easily stopped. Oh! Man. That one buckled with him Jose Aldo style. Yeah, that's the perfect description. Good movement, and Oliveira really has to close this distance, Mike. He can't take too many of those, or it's gonna, oh, nice right hand there by Oliveira. He, he can't take too many of those because it's really gonna limit his ability to shoot. And you believe that really, the, what, what he would like to do in this fight, Joe, is drag Barboza to the ground and use his jiu-jitsu. Yes, I believe that he will have a similar advantage in jiu-jitsu that Barboza has in striking. And Oliveira. Look for it again. Oliveira is very talented on the ground. But, you know, you got to get this guy there. Using the height and reach advantage, pardon me, the height and reach advantage nicely is Barboza. And he's such a kicker, too. That's the thing about Barboza is the, the reach is even more so because he's on the outside with his legs. That's one thing we really need to figure out how to measure. We, we measure reach the same way boxing does. Yeah. I, I think that's nice spinning back kick to the body. I think that's a, a disservice to the kickers. You know, a lot of times, Joe, if you're worried about being on your back, you don't throw a ton of kicks. Obviously, Barboza is not concerned. His takedown defense is excellent. His sprawls are excellent, and he's got great footwork as well. And Oliveira lands a kick of his own. Oh, man, those are hard. You hear Mike Constantino yelling, get in the phone booth, and want him to yeah. really close the distance, but that is so easily said and not very easily done. Just excellent footwork being displayed by Barboza here. Yes, he's not, he doesn't have that sort of like plodding, flat-footed Muay Thai style. He's always on the balls of his feet, constantly moving. And evolving as an athlete, he looks bigger and stronger tonight than we've seen in the past. Well, as does Hoffy. Uh, Oliveira looks bigger, too. He looks uh, very fit. It's nice a big switch. fight for both of these guys. Oh, man. 
And Oliveira, we, we can only see the bottom of his leg peeking out from under his trunks, but it's already swollen and red. 25 total strikes landed by Edson Barboza. That was close. Hoppy closed the distance there and got a hold of him, but man, another hard leg kick. Yeah, he's nearing 20 leg kicks landing. That's incredible. I mean, it's it's really hard for the folks at home to understand this because you're seeing Oliveira move around well and he still looks fine. He's in agony right now. He's just masking it by his movements. He's trying to slide away from them now, but every time he steps on that leg, I guarantee you he's feeling it. And Joe, as you mentioned, Barboza was just Glimpse. one of five fighters in UFC history to finish a fight with kicks. He's in trouble right now, Mike. He's, he's in, in big trouble. Yeah, might that do left it again. leg started, he started limping on that left leg. And again. He's trying to mask it. See, he's trying to like hop and make it a part of his movement, but he's limping right now. Yeah. Interesting that he hasn't changed his stance to at least try to get that lead leg out of the way a bit. He landed a right hand there, but you're seeing him not able to push off that left leg anymore. He eats another one. Man. Brilliant game plan and strategy by Bobos. He hit a left hook there, though. Hoffy connected with a right as well. Big first oh, he round. Oh, the wheel kick. Barboza excellent in round one. Take a look at this wheel kick that almost landed, just grazed over the head of Oliveira. And what an exhibition that first round was for Edson Barbosa. Mike Constantino in the corner of Papi Oliveira said, you've got to throw some combos, you've got to get inside and work in tight distance as he's he knocked down right again. Hand. Edson, they just said, continue to do the same, but when you Never. throw your kicks, don't drop your hands. Be careful. It's interesting what you pointed out, that he has not switched his stance. He still has that left leg forward. You can see how nasty. Oh, he's got him down. He's got Barbosa down. Can he grab a hold of him? Wow. Excellent. Yeah, right back up. Excellent defense there by Barbosa. Great scramble. Hoffy, let your boxing go. That's what I was talking about with the instructions in Constantino. It's in Barboza. I mean, more than anything, Joe, he's fun to watch. Yeah, he really is. He's one of the more dynamic kickboxers in the UFC. Yeah, he believes he will be a champion at 155. Look, at the, the, look at the swelling on that leg. Oh, man. You can hear that one. That is one of the nastiest legs. I mean, you're only seeing like a little piece of it, but one of the nastiest visions of damage from leg kicks that I can remember in a long time. You're seeing horrible yeah, swelling. That one, that one got him again. Look at the swelling on that thing. Uriah Faber, Jose Aldo. I mean, he's a one-legged fighter right now. I can't. Yeah, he, he, he can't do it crazy. much longer. That's it. That's, That's it. it. And it's all over. Edson Barboza finishes a fight via leg kicks once again. He might be the only guy we've ever seen to stop two fights by leg kicks. We're going to have to go to the stats to find that out. Well, but he was one of five, Joe, yeah. coming in. So I, I would imagine you're exactly right. He's, Amazing. He is the first, first to do, to it, do twice. it twice. He's a monster, man. Yeah. That kid is a monster. Very, very impressive. The first man to stop a fight twice due to leg kicks. Our move of the fight brought to you by Metro PCS. 4G for all. And when people say that I make too much of leg kicks, it's because I know there's people like Edson Barbosa around. And when a guy <laughs> when a guy can do that, I mean, that is one of the most difficult things to deal with as a fighter when one leg is just completely shot and you can't stop the guy from hammering that shin. Now, fans, don't forget that you can vote on what you believe will be the best move of the night. Tweet and let us know at hashtag MetroMove. And tune into the UFC post-fight show on Fuel TV for the winning move. The winner tonight in our first fight, Edson Barboza. UFC 162 prelims.
live on FX from Las Vegas are sponsored by Bug Life. Here we go. With the official decision of our lightweight matchup, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 44 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO Edson Jr. Barbosa. UFC history for Edson Barbosa. Here is Joe. I am here with the winner, Edson Barbosa. Edson, that was a spectacular display of leg kicks. And in fact, you became the first fighter in the history of the UFC to stop two men with leg kicks. Really uh, an amazing display. How do you feel about your performance? I feel great. I know uh, I think my hands are not be good today, but I keep training a lot, you know, punch, kicks, everything. I take it all defense. Uh, I feel great, thank God. God bless me one more time. One more victory. Take a look up at the big screen at some of these nasty leg kicks that you landed. I mean, one of the best displays of leg kicks we've seen inside the octagon. Before the end of the first round, you had hit him with over 28 hard leg kicks. Yes, man, that's my game. I, my first fight in UFC, it's the same thing. I knocked the guy out in third round with the leg kicks. It is fight one more time. Incredible display. Can't wait to see you again. Congratulations, sir. Edson Barbosa, ladies and gentlemen. A That's a huge win for a very humble Edson Barbosa. And he talked about his takedown defense, too. Outstanding as he stopped the takedown attempts of Papiello 